The 1996 Mississippi State Bulldogs were one of my favorite college basketball teams ever. It was quite an entertaining experience watching this team. This Bulldog squad had one of the hottest months of March ever. Unfortunately, Mississippi State's championship aspirations did not come into fruition and thus, this team is not well remembered. 90 Sports and Soldier presents Forgotten College Basketball Teams, the 1996 Mississippi State Bulldogs. The 1994-1995 MSU Bulldog squad had a solid season. They made it to the Sweet 16 with tournament wins over the Steve Nash-led Santa Clara Broncos and the Keith Van Horn-led Utah Utes. Subsequently, MSU would lose to the eventual champions, the UCLA Bruins. For the next season, returning for the Bulldogs would be their star center, Eric Dampier. Now I know Dampier's play in the NBA has been criticized and dissed, most notably by Shaq, but the 6'11 big man was a load in the middle on both ends of the floor. He was an impact player on the college basketball court. Furthermore, Daryl Wilson, who could really shoot, would also be returning. Dan Pierre and Wilson gave Mississippi State one of the best inside-outside duos in the country, but maybe the biggest impact would be on the recruiting trail. As 6'8 athletic forward, Dante Jones committed to play in Starkville. Jones was a former Juco star who was electrifying and a unique player would play with a lot of emotion and personality. However, during the 95-96 season, Jones had some troubles fitting into the system, playing defense, and understanding where his shots would come in the offense. Obviously, this would all change. Rounding out the starting five for the Maroon and White would be 6'10 power forward Russell Walters. Walters and Dan Pierre gave the Bulldogs tremendous size and strength down low, as both of these players were great at setting screens for Daryl Wilson, who had numerous open looks thanks to the screens. Then at point guard was Marcus Bullard, who was a solid college basketball point guard. Mississippi State was ranked 9th in the preseason AP poll. The Bulldogs went 9-1 in a relatively weak non-conference schedule. But when SEC play began, Mississippi State had a rough stretch in January where they went 1-4 and and found themselves out of the AP rankings. But the Bulldogs turned around and finished regular season 8-2, ranked 25th before SEC tournament play. And this is where it really got interesting. For the SEC tournament, Mississippi State blew out Auburn and then blew out Georgia who had a nice showing in the NCAA tournament. Next up, the top ranked Kentucky Wildcats. This is the Kentucky Wildcats team that many have considered to be the greatest NCAA basketball team ever with 9 players from the squad who would eventually go on to play in the NBA. But in a shocking development, it would be all Mississippi State especially in the second half. Daryl Wilson was nailing shots, Dante Jones was also hot and doing his thing in transition, and Eric Dampier was making an impact in the middle. Mississippi State won 84-73 and make no mistake about it, this was not a fluke as Kentucky did not necessarily play a bad game. Mississippi State was just really good and with the way the Bulldogs won, it really woke up and surprised the college basketball world. This was quite the victory as Mississippi State was definitely a team to look out for during the tournament. The Bulldogs received the 5 seed in the Southeast region. First up was VCU as the Bulldogs took care of the Rams. Next up the Princeton Tigers who upset the defending champs the UCLA Bruins in the first round. Mississippi State had an easy time in this one as this was Pete Carrill's last game as head coach of the Princeton Tigers. For their Sweet 16 matchup, Mississippi State would go up against the top seed in the Southeast region, the Yukon Huskies. At this point, Yukon was 32-2 with a 17-1 record in Big East play. The Huskies were heavy favorites and were led by Ray Allen, but MSU took control of the game early and had a double-digit lead for a good portion of the game. Daryl Wilson finished with 27 points on 9 of 14 shooting. Furthermore, Ray Allen only scored 22 points on 25 shots thanks to the physical defensive presence of Marcus Bullard. Next up the two seed, the Cincinnati Bearcats who were led by Danny Fortson. Cincinnati was a strong physical team with toughness which was the theme of the game. But as aforementioned, the two big guys for MSU, Eric Dampier and Russell Walters were quite the load physically. Dante Jones continued his hot play scoring 23 points and grabbing 13 rebounds as the Mississippi State Bulldogs would advance to the Final Four. For the Final Four it would be UMass against Kentucky and Mississippi State against Syracuse. Prior to the game, former Utah Utes coach Rick Majerus, who was one of the greatest basketball strategists ever, was doing the pregame show on CBS. His team lost to the Bulldogs in the NCAA tournament in 1995 and during this pregame show, he said he wished he would have had his own defense to play against the Bulldogs back then. Of course Syracuse had his own and it seemed not to allow Mississippi State to get any rhythm on offense, 
but also Syracuse's power forward John Walls was a matchup nightmare for MSU as he could easily take Russell Walters off the dribble or he could take Dante Jones down low in the post. As a result, Syracuse ended Mississippi State's title run. Starting with the SEC tournament, the 1996 Mississippi State Bulldogs went on an entertaining journey. Their upset of perhaps the greatest NCAA basketball team ever in the 1996 Kentucky Wildcats was one of my most memorable college basketball moments. I wish the Bulldogs went up against someone else in the Final Four instead of Syracuse because I would have loved to see a Mississippi State Kentucky rematch in the championship game. This would have been a dream matchup for me and I wish it could have happened. Unfortunately, it did not come into fruition as the 1996 Kentucky Wildcats had become immortalized and the 1996 Mississippi State Bulldogs had been forgotten. Forgotten college basketball teams, the 1996 Mississippi State Bulldogs. Thank you so much for watching this 90 sports video. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, check out the links below like Patreon. Thank you so much.